Hi there, I'm Grace McClung with Valley Martial Arts Supply, and welcome to Black Belt TV's Product Profiles. And here's your host, Raphael Coche. Thank you, Grace. Excuse me. Ah, hey! <laughs> okay, how you how you doing? Welcome back. Okay, the first segment we were talking about how to select Tai Chi swords, and we talked about the right tool for the job. We talked about the balance points, the flexibility of the blade. Now we're going to talk about harmonic vibrations. This is kind of a little weird concept that a lot of people don't think about. Remember we talked about the floppy blades. This is not something you want. Okay, they're, they're just, they're, let's not even waste our time on these things. What you really want to know is in a sword, the harmonic vibrations are how the blade is going to undulate and vibrate in your hand. Probably the best way to describe it is uh, when you throw a rock into a pebble of water, uh, I'm sorry, throw a rock into a pond of water and you watch the water ripples and how they peak and valley and it bounces and it comes back, that's exactly what happens in a blade. When it hits against something else, you have these vibrations that go up and down and they vibrate back up and down. One of the main reasons swords break in history is because the vibrations occur right at what's called the ricasa, which is right where the tang and the blade come together. So one of the things you want to do when you're looking at a sword is always ask for a rag. A good sword store should always have a rag on hand. If they don't, that should give you a clue what kind of sword store you're in. But you want to take your sword and you want to take your blade and you want to smack gently and see where those vibrations are. Okay? You want it to vibrate. You don't want to feel them peak in your hand. One way to think about this is, have you ever taken a stick, a really hard object, a baseball bat, and just hit something really hard and your hand just aches? from it, it just vibrates right in your hand. That's exactly what's happening. You hit something and all those harmonic vibrations are vibrating and they're peaking right in your hand, delivering all that energy and it just aches your hand. A couple ways to fix it, you could get a longer stick and hit it and that might solve the problem if they vibrate somewhere else. Well, that's what sword makers in history have done also. To compensate for the harmonic vibrations, they'll either make the sword longer or shorter to change where it vibrates or another way that they do is by changing the weight of the pommel. Sometimes you've seen those big swords with big pommels. That change the vibrations. Another way to do it is they put tassels on the sword. That gives you the idea that when you're testing a sword, you want to see if you want a sword, you don't let the tassels hang down because it gives you a bad feel. It cheats the feel of the blade. You want to hold the tassel in one hand, take the weight off the sword, and then feel how the sword is in your hands. Well, that's it. Pretty simple. If you have any more questions, please feel free to contact us at Valley Martial Arts Supply. You can also go to our website, valleymartialarts.com. Thank you very much. My name is Rafael Cochet, and you've been watching Black Belt TV's Product Profiles.